LeBron, what did you feel like you guys were doing to have the good first quarter, build the 12 point lead midway through the second? Um, anything different from the previous matchups and, and how did that flip as never got back into it? Um, no, we, I mean, it's not like we came in with, a, with a, a whole new, you know, game plan or whatever the case may be. I just always playing good basketball. Um, we came out, got some good shots. We was able to connect on some shots and, and uh, build up a 12 point lead. And obviously, they, you know, they cut that lead to three at the half um, with the spurt that they had in the second quarter, which led them into the third. They, they rolled that momentum, um, you know, and you know, got up to a double digit lead for themselves. Offensive rebounding tonight, they had 15. You know, they're a big team. Uh, what what can you do uh, to clean that up better as a team? I just get bodies, hit bodies. And, uh, you, know, it's, it's, you know, it's challenging at times. Obviously, Aaron Gordon does a great job of playing that dunker spot. And, you know, we get caught on rotation sometimes in the smalls on them. Um, you know, obviously, Joker, his ability to um, uh, rebound his misses or just rebound in, in general. Um, it's a big team. You know, it's a big team. They got a big uh, uh, front court and, and MPJ. Uh, Joker and Aaron Gordon. Uh, we just got to do a better job of trying to get hits and then collectively rebound, uh, you know, defensive glass. Going into game one, LeBron, we spoke about the need to play 48 minutes to shake off any execution they have to be able to, you know, do your best on the next on the other side. How do you feel like as a group you would assess that, like in terms of needing to stay connected mentally as well as possible? Uh, we could have been better. Um, I thought we played some good ball tonight, but we could have been better. We know. Just don't have uh, much room. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't have much room for error versus Denver team, especially at their on their home floor. Um, they're just a team that's been through everything. Obviously, they're the defending champions. So, you know, you got to execute. You got to make shots. You got to defend. Um, and then you can't give them extra possessions. You know, like you said, you know, them having uh, 18 second chance points when you're trying to when you're defending already versus a high powered offense team, that's going to be already difficult right there in, in, in his own right. LeBron, uh, entering this game, Denver was one of the few teams that attempted fewer three-pointers than you guys, um, and, and they attempted 13 more tonight. Do you feel like part of that was the, the offensive rebounding? What Was that the, the scheme of, of what you guys were willing to give up, or, or how would you assess kind of that, that increase on their end no, of threes? No, we're not willing to give up anything. Uh, you know, I thought they got some um, in transition. Um, KCP hit a couple you know, in transition where we weren't able to get back and get numbers. Um, you know, and then they was able to get some good looks as well throughout the course of the game. But, you know, I mean, we don't want to give up anything, um, you know, but, you know, they shot the ball, you know, pretty well. I mean, 35 percent, it was 15 threes. Compared to our eight, it was eight for, you know, 29. So, you know, they won that matchup right there in the three-point line. What about tonight or what from tonight's game, I guess, gives you confidence that you guys are going to be able to bounce back, bounce back strong for game two? Because uh, it's a seven-game series. LeBron, um, you said in New Orleans, I mean, that we're going to need to play pretty close to perfect basketball. Um, You said it again tonight. When that's the standard you know that's necessary to win, um, can that lead a team to press a little bit? Uh, And, like, I guess what's the balance between, like, guys playing freely and confidently, also, though, knowing that the attention to detail has to be so granular um, against a team that can take two mistakes and turn it into an 8-0 run? Oh, well, I've never played on a championship team that didn't pay attention to detail. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You have to. Hey, LeBron, um, you hit that three-pointer right before the half. To, it felt like it took away some of their momentum. But in the third quarter, they outscored you guys by 17 points. What bothered you most in that third quarter run? 14. But, um, you know, they did a, a pretty good job of just uh, – I mean, they made shots. Uh, they made shots, and we were not very good offensively. I thought we had some good looks, but and you know, we weren't able to connect on them. But you know, they did a good job. Last question. Yeah, given this team's recent history with Denver, how do you fight the feeling of here we go again? For me, or are you talking about? I, I don't. That doesn't matter to me. I don't ever get into here we go again mindset. You know, it's one game. They protected their home court. We have another opportunity on Monday. Um, to come back and be better. Uh, we know how we know how challenging it's going to be. We know how difficult um, this opponent is and how great they are. So um, that's all a part of the game. Um, just start doubting you. I don't, I don't get into the, to, to the doubt mindset. That's, just, that's not me. I'm the wrong guy to ask. Appreciate it.